Oh, it's very glary. I can hardly see. Go and get my hat. Good boy, bring it here, Razor. Good boy. Meet Set. Razor, a four-year-old German Shepherd who would have to be one of Australia's smartest dogs. Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. Uh, 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 chew! <laughs> Give. Thank you. Good boy. Good so boy, Razor. How did you end up with such a smart dog? Well, I got him when he was eight weeks of age and I thought, my goodness, he seems to be wanting to do things all the time. He wanted to learn. He wanted to learn. So I just show him something uh, once or twice and then I'll get him to do it and he'd remember it. So I thought, gee, what else can I teach him? So I'd try another trick and then another trick and... Uh, he and does obedience as well, but I thought I'd throw the tricks in as an extra. And, and how many uh, tricks does he know? Well, he does so many, I hate to count them. He just keeps going and going with he, all his tricks. And I'm running out of them. ideas. He just loves learning. But before he does them, he has to do one thing. What's that? I'll show you. Come here, Razor. Go and ring the bell. <laughs> One of the first tricks Razor learnt as a pup was to pick out the Aussie flag from a line of six flags. Razor, I want the Australian flag, kind. Good boy, bring it here. Good boy. Give, thank you. Good boy. Since then, Razor's repertoire of tricks has expanded rapidly. We're going to go shopping, Razor. Go and get the basket. Bring it here, quickly. Bring the basket. Give. Good boy. Now go and get the purse. Good boy. Put it in the basket. Good boy. Now hold the basket. We're going shopping now. Good boy. Razor is so clever, he can even count. Razor, how old are you? <coughs> Good boy. He's four years old. Good boy, Razor. And he knows his colours too. I want the pink one, fine. Bring here, good boy. Give, good boy. Razor's showman skills are so impressive that he often performs at pet expos to educate other pet owners what a dog can be taught. How do you teach a dog to do tricks like Razor? Well, it's very easy, Carly. Uh, what I do, I use motivational training. And motivational training is giving a reward after each thing that he does. Okay, because I notice that you give him a little bit of sausage or something, don't I you? I do. I, I've got a little bit of Frankfurt, and it's only a very, very tiny piece, but a dog will work for a little treat like this. He'll do anything for a treat. Okay, so what and, sort of steps do you need to go to, go well, through? Well, you need to go through them and break them down into segments. You never ever try and do a complete trick at one time. They must be broken down into very small segments. Now, Razor is a German Shepherd and they are a very intelligent dog and they are a working dog. So the more he does, the more he wants to do and uh, he just can't do enough. All right, yeah. well, is there one more trick that Razor can show us before we go? Carly, there is. We're going to do, uh, he's going to find his teddy for you. And uh, when I tell him Teddy's very tired, he must put him to bed, he'll run and get his teddy and put him in his bed for it to go to sleep. Now, once Teddy's asleep, Razor will then go and say his prayers. Now, after he said his prayers, he will lie down and he'll go to sleep himself. Hi, I'm Nikki Buckley and welcome to Talk to the Animals. Now, would you take a look at this perfectly poised professional? That's what you are, Razor, cool as a cucumber. Just moments before you dazzle us with your amazing array of very clever tricks. And Razor is also a star with a heart of gold. <laughs> Over! They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. That's why Rodna Beveridge starts when her pupils are pups. Good boy. So Rodna, what we're looking at today, this is obedience training, is it? Yes, yeah, this particular part is. I'm going to send Razor to the box. And he's raring to go. He wants he to start. He loves it. He's, yeah, as soon as he knows he's going to be doing something, that's it. Over! How long would it take to teach them one trick, like say the, you know, stay in the box trick? 
Uh, I can teach that in one day. Really? Yeah, just a few goes and ever, aren't you? No, not really. <laughs> They might be German shepherds, but as well as being highly intelligent and obedient, Rodner's prize winners are fiercely patriotic Australians. Good on you, mate. They're also very community-minded. Jessa, say hello. Rodner and three-year-old Jessa often drop in on the sick and elderly. How are you today? Good. It's lovely, isn't it? Jessa, come and say hello. Good girl. Go and get my hat for me. But the visits aren't just a meet and greet. Oh, good girl, bring it here to me. Give, yes, thank you. Pink one, please, the pink. Good girl, thank you. Bring it here and give. Good girl. They even take requests. Hanky trick, yeah, please. What, where I sneeze? Yeah, I love it. Now, I've got a very, very itchy nose and I'm going to sneeze. A chew! Give. Oh, thank you. That's a very good girl. Were you ever able to teach your dog tricks? No, no. <laughs> Take a lot of patience, wouldn't it? <laughs> As I was about to find out. OK, Nikki, today I'm going to teach you how to teach a dog to do tricks. Fantastic. <laughs> do I get the hat first? <laughs> oh, so I'm, I'm, oh, oh, he's snappy. Uh, it's probably an idea to have it in an open hand. Eventually, Bosca and I understand each other. I'll get you, boy. <laughs> Ring the bell. Do they love it all, the training and the competition and the visiting? Oh, they do. Well, you saw Razor before. Mm. He's just towing the ground all the time. He wants to work, work, work. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, this is my trophy room, as you can see. Mm. And uh, these amazing. are a few things that uh, Razor and Jassa have won. You must have hundreds of them. And there's no resting on their laurels, even at home. How old are you? <laughs> Seven, good boy! Razor even answers the dog and bone. The phone's ringing, get the phone. Bring it here, quick. Give, thank you. Oh, it's for you. <laughs> Razor, he likes to go and get his teddy of an evening and to put it into his into Teddy's own little bed. Oh. And then he says his prayers. Oh. And he lies down and then he goes to oh, sleep. No, come on. <laughs> he does. He loves doing that. After seeing you today, it's obvious to me that you're so passionate about your animals. I love them. They're, they're family, actually. I could never part with them. No. Have you always had dogs in your life? I've always had dogs. So they're, they're my replacement for the children. They are, are they? Yes, certainly. Are they harder work or easier? Uh, I think it's easier to train a dog than a, than a child. <laughs> <Do you? laughs> I really, truly do. Well, Raisin, thank you for helping me with our show. How about a shake? A high five? <laughs> I think I'm the one who needs a bit more dog training. I really hope you've enjoyed the show. Until next time, remember, take care of all the animals. Oh, you're a good boy, though.